Yeah, so pre fished done and dusted, so I just finished rigging up. Uh, probably way too many rods for tomorrow, but uh, it was a reasonably successful day. So caught um, caught a few fish on a few different techniques. Got them cranking, got them on bait junkies, uh, fishing structure, fishing kind of rocky banks. So um, really, really uh, wet weather. So plenty of rain forecast for the next couple of days, and that's probably going to pay. Uh, play to the guys down the front so I'd say it's probably going to be one east of the bridge and that's my game plan so I'll stick out that direction fish some kind of areas of washy kind of current places and then uh, pick apart some isolated pieces of structure so uh, of course the open is two days in Sydney Harbour and the middle days on the Hawkesbury River so I didn't pre-fish the Hawkesbury just gonna uh, wing that one fly by the seat of my pants and uh, fingers crossed we can get uh, three decent bags together and have another good uh, Oz Open. So. I like Tinker man, I like So uh, yeah, practice is over and done. Uh, all rigged up, ready to go for tomorrow. And pre-fish was pretty good. I uh, didn't catch any big fish, but I certainly found um, a couple of little patches which seems to hold um, you know, a couple of decent ones. So hopefully some big ones there tomorrow. Uh, we've had a lot of weather come through in the last sort of month and it's predicted to be over the next couple of days so I found a lot of clearer water down towards the front which uh, I certainly feel a lot more comfortable fishing. I did go up into the river a little bit up into the Parramatta and up into Lane Cove and it was just it looked too dirty for me so I think I'm just going to stick uh, down towards the front. Yes I mean we were out there a little bit early today but I think high tides are like eight or something. Uh, I don't think it's that late. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, well done. Time for pizzas. Oh yeah. See you. <laughs> no, I was just taking um I uh, just did the first Zoom briefing. Normally we'd uh, go in person to the briefing and sign in and show fishing license and stuff, but Sydney traffic, uh, try not to get the guys to travel around too much, so we just did it on Zoom. Works. Yeah, <laughs> took the dog for a walk, <laughs> mid briefing, so has its benefits, okay. Every time I come to Sydney, I always break something. It was my gearbox last year, Reel handles and now a charger. And we haven't even started the tour. <laughs> One wet charger, not good. But uh, we'll get uh, the boats charged up and hit the, uh, hit the water tomorrow morning. So go to swap this out, try and dry it off. And we'll uh, see you in the morning. It wasn't raining when we got up and then as soon as we pulled the boat out of the carport it just started bucking and so forecast for today is up to 80 mils of rain uh, winds up to about 55 kilometers an hour so it's going to be a beautiful day for fishing uh, tomorrow's even worse tomorrow's up to 100 mils of rain that uh, rain event that flooded southeast queensland is headed our way We'll see how it goes. It'll be an interesting uh, event, but possibly, probably uh, call off some days or potentially make some days shorter or something like that to keep everyone safe. But we'll uh, just play by the rules and we'll see how we uh, see how we go. But yeah, definitely going to be a bit of an interesting few days. Just take it easy. Don't go in the left-hand lane here. There's a big pothole just up the road. What's that? 
Just don't go in the far left hand lane on this road, there's a big pothole just near those blocks. Yeah, I got that yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was like stuck, I couldn't move. Yeah. up at um, Ernington, just drive down, we got the start line at that Moines, so a little bit of a drive here in the morning, so just uh, quarter past six, so the tournament will start at seven, so plenty of time, we just cruise down to Dremoyne and get the uh, 2022 Diver Australian Open on the way, let's do it. So we're the last boat out in the field this morning. It is absolutely going to bucket down on the way to the first spot. So I've got the ski goggles on, thanks to the cameraman, because I forgot mine. And, uh, so he's going to cop it, and I'll be right when I'm driving. So 2022 Oz Open starts uh, in about three minutes for us. be a brim, eh? That's a kingy. I think it's a king. Valley. It's not what we want. Right. Oh yes, thank God. Perfect release. time ever I haven't caught a brim off it. Oh, 
Trying to get one of those shots with the, the water coming off the spool. <laughs> Just in North Harbour. Trying to escape a little bit of the wind. Just fishing a bit of wash, kind of rocky banks and stuff and uh, missed a couple this morning and um, had a few bites but just can't seem to find them yet, but we'll keep bouncing around, we'll run into some eventually. Oh, that was a brim. That's a brim. Oh, that's big, that's big, that's big, 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 big. That was a donkey. <laughs> so it's an app tournament at the moment, so you get a Record your catch through the app. So 265 yellowfin brim. Hit submit, uploads to the cloud, and that fish is captured, and we let them go straight away. So. Spark 44. Yeah, not a big one again, but starting to put a bag together. Need to upgrade all of these if we want to do any good in this. Whoa! Three more to get. Little one. Yes. Come on. 
nice decent one. On the spike again. Where's it coming off? Not huge, but he's a good start towards a half decent bag anyway. Put him on the stick, he's 33. size fish there is pretty much all I was catching on pre-fish so let's hope we can find a few more. Just a bit of weed. bag of five now. So still in Manly, just crankbaiting some edges on the high tide. And um, got five with one half decent one and four small ones. So we still need a lot of, got a lot of work to do to get a good limit. But anytime you have a limit pretty early in the morning, you can relax and fish, fish pretty carefree. So we'll keep going. Hopefully we get another big one. That's a good one. Oh, 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 no, no, no. That was a good one. Heading back up the harbour. Oh. Yesterday, I catch all big ones. Today, all babies. Fish that jetty at the start again. Instant. That was so far around something that was gonna... right, So just rigging up a couple more plastics to uh, replace the one that just busted me off. And we're gonna make the run back across into Sydney Harbour. So we've been in Manly pretty much all morning and uh, see if we can't get a few upgrades. All right, time to run across the harbour. Nice, not 
31. Here's an upgrade. First upgrade. Let's see if there's any more on the jetty. Centimeter upgrade, maybe. There's a lot of winding and hoping. Yeah, a little, only half a centimeter, but better than nothing. Better than a swift kick in the nads, as they say. update so it's just past midday Jamie's uh, still in first that's him out there fishing the reef uh, Liam he's got a three and a half kilo bag Anthony Hasarati 3.2 Bernie Kong three kilos last year's champ Michael Collar Tourist 2.8 he's in fifth there we are sixth just behind Michael Need about a 800 gram or 900 gram update, upgrade to uh, catch Jamie. So catch a one and a half and we'll do it in one fish, eh? That was a bite. That was a bite. Watched him eat that one too. Upgrade something. Right, upgrade number three. Not a big one. Something. Just pulling up to probably what's going to be the last spot of the day, so hopefully we can get an upgrade. We need one one really big one, we'd, we'd be kind of in with a shot and around the mix, so... There's one. That wasn't the one I saw. That's a good one. That's an upgrade. That's an upgrade. You upgrade. Look fell out. Alright, that does this. First day of the open. Very wet day. Had plenty of chances, just didn't capitalise. Ended up with a pretty small bag, so we'll probably be, uh, I don't know, midfield, around 12th or something like that, I reckon. 
go way oh not way them in but check them in see how we go I didn't even, didn't, I had my chances at a big bag, but a um, few lost fish, and that's uh, that's what does you in the open generally. Guys that win it don't usually lose them. See, we've caught the uh, the leader of the tournament, Jamie McEwen. He is a nasty ass day out there today, probably yeah. tails to go. You can still stack it and you can still come from behind, so uh, keep it on the coverage. The day one, that was very tough for me. I only boated five fish, got snapped off a few times, lost a few. Uh, that's fishing, but sometimes. Potential gale force warning for tomorrow, which means tomorrow might be called off, but uh, so we'll wait and see. We'll wake up in the morning, get ready to fish the Hawkesbury. Hopefully, we can go out, and uh, hopefully, it's my turn for five kilos. We'll catch back up. We'll see. Alright, so that's day one done, dusted. Got the boat back on the trailer. Starting to rain. We're going to head off. Hopefully, see you in the morning. is going ahead, so the gale warning has been downgraded to a strong wind warning. So it's still going to be pretty bumpy out there. It is absolutely bucketing down. Uh, forecast to have upwards of 100 mil of rain today, uh, which should make it very interesting. So we'll see what happens. I've, I've got some spots I'd like to fish, but I think the swell will be a little bit too big to actually safely fish them. Um, so probably run a little bit of upriver stuff and try and get out of the big swell. Things you do for tournament angling, eh? About three hours sleep last night. Alright, so day two morning, we're just about to put the boat in and the tournament arena has been shortened so normally we're allowed to go all over the Hawkesbury, Brisbane waters, up the river, wherever you want. Uh, because of the weather and the swell forecast, the arena is now closed to pit water only so in closed waters, pit water doesn't get very rough, be uh, much safer but it'll change up completely how everyone's going to fish so um, obviously some really popular spots like the car park and that's still in pit water and, and five kilo bags were caught only two weeks ago off the car park. So uh, we'll see, I think it'll change up things. It uh, might make for a really interesting tournament, actually. Day two, so it's uh, restricted to pit water this morning. Because uh, of the strong wind warnings, so we've got pretty strong winds and really big swells out the front of Barry Joey. So, pit water only, which will change a few things up. Didn't really plan for that, so probably uh, just treat today like a bit of a pre fish day and kind of fish around. See if we can put a bag together and uh, make up a little bit of ground for uh, the final day on Sydney Harbour again. So, see how we get. Seven and a half, there's a little waterfall in the back there and making a bit of a dirty water line. But it looks pretty good, I thought so.
All right, that's number three. It's pretty, uh, pretty gnarly. I'm trying to stand up, but there's a few fish in these rocks. <laughs> oh, oh, at the boat. Stay hooked, stay hooked, stay hooked. That was insane. I was like pulling it out of the water. Yes! <laughs> That's insane. Two nine First 30 of the day. We need to really get a bag of these today, but to start, we'll keep going. All right, so we got a bag now. Just going to uh, make a bit of a move across pit water over to a place they call the car park. So big uh, seagrass flat, and uh, try and do a few drifts over there. It's getting pretty gnarly to fish these rocks, so. Jump on plane, we'll make a move. Setting the drift. Taking a lot of pictures in my pocket. Let's go, eh?
podcast. About a five centimeter upgrade or something, so not uh, not what I need, but uh, working towards a good bag. So not a 6.5 kilo bag. So. Four and a half. the upgrade we were needing, only five mil. Need another five centimeter one, that'd be nice. Yeah, the car park, and it shows them to go there because yeah, they're going to go 
Just yeah. Drift through there. I was uh, one of the only ones without spot lock, so I'd have about 10 casts and then have to start the motor and drift up again. But um, caught a caught a good limit early. On, a limit early on crankbaits on spikes, yep. and I thought I'd just check the car park, and then I got there and it was just bent, and you never left bent rods <laughs> everywhere. And I was like, maybe I should uh, yeah. maybe I should have a cast here. And, so what did you end up getting? You get a good bag. Uh, probably a smidge on over four. Yeah, there upgraded everything. That's, a, that's, a, that's actually under par today. It is. <laughs> um, so, latest update from BOM came out maybe mid-morning today and it's saying gale force conditions. Um, there's a warning out for tomorrow. And that's on inshore waters, not in the, in the offshore waters. Yeah, Sydney enclosed waters is the official line. Yeah, that's it, day two. Weighed in uh, a little bit over four kegs. We're sitting in six and potentially that might be it because... The gale warning from today has been pushed back to tomorrow and that means that the day will be cancelled. So if that stays true, the tournament's finished. Jamie McEwen is the champ again. And uh, Adam Bertoldo, six and a half kilo bag today, jumped from 20th to second place. So that was a pretty cool story. So uh, if that's it, that's it. Otherwise, maybe we'll see you tomorrow for a day three of the old day. Day two done and dusted and it was not my day unfortunately. Uh, I've never caught a fish before in pit water and we're restricted to uh, just this area and I pretty much fumbled and bumbled my way around for five fish and that's all I caught. Um, I really struggled actually, it's way out of my comfort zone not sort of knowing where to go but the boys on the car park absolutely wrecked them today and it's, it's good to hear at least a few guys caught. The problem is practical stand. Hot shower. Day out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <yep. laughs> Couple of toilet casts. <laughs> what more can you ask for? Dry weather. Yeah. Sunshine. We can't have it all, Tom. Message Nicole just sent. Um, Bombs update. Gale warning is still uh, still active, so that means Jamie McEwen is our uh, Oz Open champion again. So second time in uh, three outings in four years because we had one cancellation. So congratulations, Jamie. Recording in progress. everyone for turning up but um, yeah it's missed the check by one spot in like 50 grams I think but uh, yeah happy with uh, how it turned out. When you look on the decks in the boats of people fishing in the open it's, it's near 100% used to island nowadays you must be happy with that. Yeah definitely um, so yeah they got the guys support us really well and, and uh, you yeah, know that's why we keep coming back and supporting the event so that's yeah, good to good to be a part of it. Yeah.